Hi everybody, welcome to the third video in our series. Today we're going to practice the D level questions, the more advanced questions for the CASAS goals math assessment. So here we have two warm up practice questions, a little easier. It says Midtown Gym costs $40 per month to join, but is having a half price special for August. Question one. How much would it cost to join for April, May, and June? Question two, how much would it cost to join for August? Pause the video, answer the question. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So how much would it cost to join for April, May, and June? So I know that's three months, and three months at $40. So I can think of this as addition, and I can think of it as 40 plus 40 plus 40, and this is going to be addition, so four and four is 12. And then I add the zero, so it's gonna be 120. I can think of it as 40 times three, which would also give me 120. And I can plug those numbers into my calculator if I'm not sure of the answer. So answer to number one would be D, $120. Okay, practice two, how much would it cost to join for August? Well, I have to go back and read the problem really carefully. I see August here, having a half price special for August. So if it's regular price is $40, and I need to know half of that. Okay, so half of 40 is going to be, I know it's 20, 40 divided by two, shared into two equal groups cut in half is going to be 20. And again, if I didn't know that, I could put in 40 divided by two, use the division button on the calculator to get 20. So my answer is going to be B, 20. Okay, let's take a look at something a little bit more difficult. So these are the true level D questions. So these are ratios and proportions. Franco is buying nails for a construction project. Each box of nails costs $14 and contains 225 nails. Franco estimates he needs 1,800 nails. How can Franco calculate the total cost of nails? So I'm not going to find the answer in this problem. I have to choose which set of proportions, ratios, I'm going to use to answer the problem. A, B, C, or D. So pause the video and answer the question. Okay, welcome back. So the key to these questions is making sure I find a ratio, a proportion, that has 14 and 225 in it. So I'm either going to see something that says $14. For $14, I can buy 225 nails, or I'm going to see a proportion that says I can buy 225 nails for $14. The trick is, in these problems, they don't show you the units. So let me look at my choices. I'm looking for 14 and 225 together. So A would be potentially, possibly an option. Uh, oh, and here I have 14 and 225. So I'm looking at A or D. So now, let's take a look. $14 for 225 nails. So dollars is gonna be at the top, and nails is gonna be at the bottom. And this has to be the same for both of my fractions. So, for both of my proportions. So $14, I can buy 225 nails. How many dollars is it to buy 1,800 nails? Is that what I wanna find out? He estimates that he needs 1,800 nails, so I know nails is on the bottom and I wanna find the total cost, so that's how much in dollars. So yes, I would choose A here. For, it's $14 for 225 nails. How many dollars is it for 1,800 nails? So A would be my answer. Okay, now we have a question about slope. So if you don't know how to find the slope of a line, or you don't recognize these equations, that's totally fine. There's a video on the website which explains slope. And there's another video also um, in our links 
which tells you about um, the equation of a line. You can also go to Khan Academy and find equation of a line lessons there if you want to learn more. So let's take a look at the question. James is going to plot a line using the information in the chart. What is the equation of the line if the slope is one third? So we only know the slope is one third and then we have this graph to help us. We have one point on the graph and we have the slope. So we have to figure out what's the equation of the line. Okay, pause the video and answer the question. Okay, hi guys, welcome back. So we know that slope is rise over run. In this case, one over three. So what does that mean? Okay, well that means if I have one point here on my line, my run is going to be how many squares across I go. In this case, three. One, two, three. So I'm gonna go three squares across and then the rise is going here is going to be a positive direction. It's going to be up one. Okay, and that's how I find the next point on my line. So I went three across and one up. This is the slope of my line. Okay, and I can keep doing this one, two, three over and one up. This is going to be the next point in my line. One, two, three over. Oh, sorry one two three over and one up and my slope will go on really if it's a line it goes on to infinity in both directions so this is the slope three across and one up so in my problem here even if I don't understand everything about equations of lines I know that this number here should be the slope okay the equation of a line is y y equals equals m x now m means the slope x plus b okay and b is going to be a number of fraction and we'll talk about that in a minute but my m my slope comes before my x so i need to see okay which equations have a slope of a third well a has a slope of a third and C has a slope of a third. So I know I'm either going to guess A or C. If I'm in a test, right away I have a 50-50 chance, even if that's all I know, and that's totally fine. Now, the B part at the end, I have two differences with these equations. This one says zero, and this one says one. Now the last number there is the B. The B is the y-intercept. That is, on this axis, the y-axis, where does the line cross? Okay, well I can use my slope just like I did over here in my little picture. So I know on this graph for every three across we go, we go one up. So I can kind of work backwards here. I said, okay, well, you go three across, one, two, three, and one up. Okay, so this would have been my original point. Whoops, sorry. Can't do this while holding it <laughs> on camera. Okay, one, two, three across and one up. Okay, so obviously you're gonna do this better than me with a pencil and a ruler, but you get the idea. This is going to be my line here. Okay, and it's gonna go on for infinity in both directions. That would be my other point. Okay, so three over, one up. Three over, one up every time. Okay, so where does this line cross the y-axis? It crosses at zero. Okay, so zero is going to be my b. So which line has a slope of one-third and a, a b value of zero? It is a. So y equals one-third x plus zero. Whew, good job, everybody. Okay, we'll leave it there. Um, there's another video below this one which will help you to answer the next three practice questions. Good job today.